right, leaving the fort. Steep home, flat home. Western. Steady climb up now, it's a nice breeze. Time's alright. Time's good, I allowed an hour for there. I'm not doing the lower one because I took some photos of it when I was down on the cliffside. I always come in here every time. And most people do. Some people just come in here and go to the loo. Fragile roof, yeah. It's going to collapse with pancake you, wouldn't it? Pancake you. But this was what was used by the soldiers. So we just go in. I said everyone will have a wee in here. It's been held up now. I don't know what, that probably could have been for an instrument. It could have been an instrument on there for looking out. And they would have stood here, people did. Stood here, look. Looked out at sea, in case the Germans or the, or Napoleon was coming. I don't know if these were from Napoleon. No, I think these were probably Second World War. <sighs> yeah. I'm going to turn off again. It's very short videos, everyone, because I've got to take photos and then move on, you see. <sighs> Over note a minute. Right, here's a warning, but you can't stop people, can you? I've been coming in here for years. So this is just a bit higher up, really. You can see down there. Just a bit higher up. It's lovely, isn't it? Lovely. the closest I'm going to get there. It's pretty good though from here, isn't it? Wells over there. Steep will be coming in a minute. Nearly there. Where is it? There it is. Steep home. I can't remember... I can't remember going in that particular structure. I really can't. I'm going went in that one, the hotel. I can't remember exploring that bit. Explored everything else. Most of it, anyway. Seems I've done all the other landmarks lately. Crook's Peak. Brent Knoll, Cheddar Gorge, Robert Warren, Area of Outstanding Beauty on the Mendips, the Quantock Hills. What else have I done? Yeah, I thought I just would do Breen Down because I'm always talking about it. New artwork. These places are just full of toilets, really, aren't they? Do you know what I mean? I suppose you had to go somewhere if they stuck out here in the middle of nowhere all the time. There's Weston, just zoom over to the Grand Pier. Sticks out nice and white, see look. Look at that. A few people on the beach. Shopacana and the red brick building. 
They've, uh, there's the little swimming pool, but it's a boating pool which has been emptied this year. Yeah, so there we are. There's the the old fort, which, like I said, in theory, it could be used again. If needs be, they could eat the, the brickwork solid. The brickwork is solid. What I do on this part, I don't rush the route. I don't march up it. I just take my time. See that bit's fallen on there, look. Might have always been there, I don't know, I can't remember. Something big moved that though, didn't it? Makes it easier to get on the roof. I don't know if it was always there, I can't remember. I'd have to look at old photos to know. And here's Sheila. One of my big reference points. Right over there, beyond the Burnbet Pier, is Sand Bay, Sand Point, where I was yesterday. I didn't do the crocodile end, that bit. I went up the end, you can't really see much where the Priory is. You can't really see much of it where I went, but I did the, the back part over there. And then went cross country. I was only there yesterday. A week ago I was on the Quantox doing a big hike. Because I love it. I love walking. What's saving me today is this, it's a bit cooler the temperature. It's this very cool breeze. Um, it's cooling. I don't know if it's cool, but it's a cooling breeze. I'll just show you a bit of me going up these uh, areas. So you know I actually do it. It'll be 70 and 6 months and I'm still doing all this. Yeah. Here's the Severn, River Severn and the Bristol Channel. All out there everyone. Yeah, there were some blokes on bikes, battery operated ones, they were going skidding about in there, they were doing dangerous things, they were going down the banks right onto the cliff edge and doing a turn on the bike. I think they were from, I don't know, Poland, somewhere like, I'm not saying it's Poland, but it's a, a country in that part of the world. One bloke in particular was doing most of it. And then they were skidding on the gravel in the on the parade ground. I think there were a couple of wardens up there, but what can they do? You need to take photos. And I have. It's always handy to keep the camera on you, don't know when it'd be useful. And there we got the Steep home there, where about at least five rivers meet. You've got the River Brew, you've got the River Parrot, you've got the River Axe, you've got the River Banwell, you've got the River Severn, and there's other ones. And uh, it's very turbulent around the two homes. People think, oh, they can canoe out there and that, and people do try it. There's also the legendary myth of the Western Supermare serpent, a giant serpent that can patrols this water. And it comes from the legend that that is the head of the serpent. Steep home. He, he fell out with his lover or something. And his head was severed. I can't remember. I'd have to find it. I've written it down somewhere. He's supposed to tickle the feet of swimmers. I don't know if he'd save you if you were getting lost, I don't know. 
but there are giant congrails out there anyway that will bite you. They, they would nibble at your feet and your body if you died. They soon gobble you up. They don't make a lot of the uh, legendary serpent though because it could scare the, the tourists, the crocos. I don't know, I written person it would attract them. Now every now and again I put on my real Somerset accent. I emphasize it a bit, if you noticed. <laughs> I emphasise it. I'm a Somerset girl. Born here. Bred here. I'm a Wessex girl. People are so proud of their country. Like People talk about Yorkshire all the time. It is a nice place up there, but... I don't know. It's better down here. It's warmer, isn't it? Look at that expanse. People have fallen from these cliffs. Dogs have fallen. It's true, it's not a lie. But the goats don't. I haven't seen a goat today. Some lovely little wildflowers clinging to the hillside and they get battered, you know, with these westerly winds and northerly winds. They get battered, but look at those, aren't they pretty? Dancing. Frantically dancing to the orchestra of the wind. Beautiful. I shall take a photo of it. Turn it off now. So beautiful, they're so beautiful.